Hey everybody, this is Eric for Planting Seeds for Life, and today I am bringing you the next person in chapter 11 of Hebrews, which is Sarah, Abraham's wife. You know, the Bible says that two people uh, have to be agreed in order to walk together. And if you look at um, Sarah and Abraham, they both do the same thing. In their heart, they laugh at God when He promises them that they're going to have a child or a son. And Abraham did it in like the next to the last time that God promised. And Sarah did it in the last time that God promised. But somewhere between laughing at God and saying this is impossible and when the time actually came, each one of them came to be a believer. Part of faith is believing. And I think that God knew that they both had to believe for it to come to pass. Because they were going to have to walk together, not just in, in this life, but in faith. That God was going to do something that looked like it was impossible. And I think that if there's one thing that I want to uh, want people to take away from that is that um, no matter what it is, if it's a business partnership, if it's a marriage, if it's a, you know, whatever it may be, people need to believe the same thing, that, that it's going to come to pass. I remember when we had Seth, before we had Seth, we were claiming a Bible verse because my wife had had 12 miscarriages. And the Bible verse was Psalms 113.9. He maketh the barren woman to keep, keep house and to be the joyful mother of children. And, you know, we prayed over that verse for a lot of years. And it was somewhere in, in all of the miscarriages and everything. We came to the understanding when uh, my wife was pregnant with Seth that it didn't really matter what was going to happen or what people said. We both had a peace in our heart knowing that we were going to have Seth. And n nine months later we did. Um, I think that God wants to bring people to that kind of belief in all of the things that happen. Not just physical things like a childbirth, but in all of the things that, you know, that He promises. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Uh, comment. We love to hear from you and share if it has helped you in any way. All of these things help us to bring you better programming. Thank you so much for watching. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. Thanks again for watching. God bless and see you next time.
believe that he forgave your sins. He wants to, you to believe that he's working on changing you and making you into a different person, one that will be happy to go to heaven and live with him forever. Now, you know, some people want to believe that their sins were forgiven, but they don't want to believe that um, they need to or, or can change. And that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says He's working on you. He's going to sanctify you. That's, that means make you holy. And, and you can't be made holy if you don't choose to be. Anyway, I, I'm going to get off the soapbox here. But I just wanted to share that tonight.